Hello and welcome to this week's special presentation. My name is Jim Penna. I'm the manager of retirement services here at VectorVest, and I'm very happy to be hosting this week's topic, which is titled Information, the Most Valuable Commodity. Now that comes from a famous quote from the infamous fictional character Gordon Gecko from the movie Wall Street. And it is a statement that I truly believe in. When Gordon Gecko said to his buddy Bud Fox there, he said, the most valuable commodity I know of is information. And when I hear that quote, it often leads me back to the seven secrets to making money with VectorVest. It is the timeless presentation that has been delivered by Dr. Delito many times over the years. And if you've not heard it, I urge you to uh, go to the special presentation given by my colleague, Mr. Steve Chappell, did a great job back on December 27th of 2019. I've recently watched it uh, again, and I strongly urge you to do the same, uh, to go watch, and I'll show you in a moment how to get to that presentation. But usually, as manager of retirement services, when I discuss the seven secrets, uh, I'll often focus on secret number five of the seven secrets, which is learn to trade options. There are several reasons you should know how to trade options. I show them mostly from the perspective of the retirement-minded investor looking to uh, protect their portfolio with protective puts or generating income by selling covered calls. But this week, I want to focus on secret number four, which is exploit the home page. And so my goal in this presentation is to show you, yes, some basic navigation of the home page, but more importantly, how to use that information found on the home page to help you better manage your net worth. Remember that here at VectorVest, we believe every investor needs to know when to buy, what to buy, and when to sell. Now the information from the home page will go a long way to helping you do just that. So let's go ahead and jump into the program. This is the default setup. This is my account here, the default setup for the home page. I am here in the VectorVest 7 real time. So we can see the uh, markets moving here. It's just about 10 a.m. Eastern time and we see uh, the markets are down. We can see the market time engage. And what I want to do is go through uh, each gadget here piece by piece and, and again, share the power of the information found here on the home page. So we'll begin with the when to buy. And let's talk about each gadget as it relates to the overall market analysis and the market trend. I'll start here in the upper left-hand corner where we look at the major indexes. Again, this is the default with the Dow, the NASDAQ, S&P 500, the S&P 100, and the VectorVast composite so that we're able to get a current view of what's going on in the market. Now, these are hitting new lows as of this morning, and we can see the, the current movement of of the major indexes along with the VectorVest composite. Obviously important information you can get many places, but when you add it to the rest of the information here, it becomes even more valuable through the VectorVest program. As I go through each gadget, again, as I said, I'm going to show some basic navigation and I just want to show you what I do on my own just to give you some considerations on things that you can do. Within this quick list gadget, Again, that's in the default and leaves the major indexes. You can click on that little wrench there, and it's the configure wrench. And when I left click there, it gives me the ability to add issues to the quick list, and I can change the size there. So what I'm going to do is choose medium. I'll close that wrench to show me the room, and I can show you what I've added and what I like to keep on my quick list for the major indexes. Again, just for your consideration and, and what you can do within the program. So we've got the five uh, major indexes, including the VectorVest composite. I like to add on the SPIs and the Qs and the Diamonds. These are the ETFs that track the major indexes, the Russell 2000. I like to keep an eye on what gold is doing the dollar and the VIX, which is the volatility of the S&P 500. So I can get a, a really good view of the overall market and what's going on in these different uh, parts uh, as I analyze the overall market and its current activity. And you can you can fill in whatever you'd like. As I said, you just simply come in and, and you type in 
whatever you want to follow the dollar index type in DXY and you'll see that comes up as well so it can be what you know whatever you want to add there so great functionality to the right out of the gate following the major indexes and some of the other uh, ETFs or indexes that track the overall market from here where the vector vest composite is down today it's it's down uh, over a half a percent 0.64 percent which leads me back to the market timing gauge now we often say that the home page of vector vest is designed to read like the home page of your newspaper where market timing is always the main headline so in the market timing gauge here we see that the headline reads that the color guard is neutral and that VectorVest advocates caution when buying stocks at this time. Okay. So it, it's, it's amazing how the seven secrets are so important and build on each other because secret number three is called Heed the Color Guard. And this is where we are right in the middle of the home page. And so we follow the color guard down below because that needle, that barometer needle is straight up into the yellow. I know that there are three yellow lights across the board here in the color guard. And it's here in the color guard where we track the important components of price, relative timing, and the buy-sell ratio as they relate to the vector vest composite. We track them day over day and week over week so that we can recognize short, intermediate, and longer term trends in the market. This is all invaluable information found right here at the top of the page. If I come over to vector vest at a glance, I'm able to see how many stocks we're currently tracking in the database. We give each and every stock every day a buy, sell, and hold rating. That gives us very important information about the buy, sell ratio. The vector vest composite priced is an arithmetic average, indexed average price of the 9,100 stocks. You know, just like the Dow tracks 30 stocks, the S&P has got 500, or the OEX has 100. Well, we're, we're using an index that tracks of much broader market so that's the vector vest composite price then here the important information of the relative timing indicator which is the trend of a stock or in this case the vector vest composite itself and it's computed from an analysis of the direction magnitude and dynamics of a stock's price movement day over day week over week quarter over quarter and year over year so very important information on a zero to two scale we see it's below one and falling today as we can see in the color guard. The buy sell ratio also very important information. Those 9100 stocks get a buy sell or hold rating every day in our program. We take the number of buys divided by the number of sells and it gives us a very good indication of you know, an underlying strength or weakness and we can see with so many more sell rated stocks to buy rated stocks it's just more evidence of that weakness that we've seen. And then we have the, uh, the MTI which uh, we take price relative timing and the buy sell ratio and roll it into one formula called the market timing indicator what we also refer to as the underlying trend of the market now here in the color guard is where we track these this is where the the, the power of this information right so we go through what they are what they mean but how do how do i apply that to my to my daily analysis of the overall market well, we track these, again, day over day and week over week, and we look for these shorter, intermediate, and longer term trends. And we can see the primary trend of the market is up. That first column under the trend header reads up. It's up because the composite's up on a week over week basis. So that average price of over 9,000 stocks is up. That's a short term trend and a great piece of information, especially if you're a more active or aggressive investor. It right? doesn't mean we're gonna act on every single one of these signals but all of them are very important pieces of information. So even though the composite's up week over week, it is down day over day. We didn't get the follow through we saw yesterday. And we're able to see that very quickly. Remember, the color guard is a visual tool and it acts much like a traffic light, right? Green means go, it's okay to buy. Yellow means use caution. And of course, red means stop or don't buy. The color guard, remember, doesn't necessarily tell you when to sell, but it does give you some great information to, to at least alert you. Should, should I be buying some protective puts? Should I be tightening stops? Should I be selling? Let me go reevaluate my positions. Okay, so a lot of information here. Now, again, the great thing about the color guard is I can extend that view by turning it into a medium. I get a good three-week look back 
at the composite here and I'm able to track the movement over a longer period of time. So in this type of market, it's important to remember that one day doesn't make a trend and we're always looking for the, the next day's follow through. Uh, again, depending on our investment style, all important pieces of information that we can build around managing our net worth. For now, I'm going to make that back to uh, the small section there, but that's how you how you create the, the overall look. Then finally, when it comes to the overall market, I want to talk about the mini graph here. Again, this is the MTI. The default setup brings the MTI graph here, and I have the ability to change the time frame on it. I could look intraday end of day I could look on much longer term uh, trend um, I could make the box bigger or smaller but right now what I'm looking at is a one month or 30 day look at the MTI currently down at 0.71 now I also have the ability to put uh, different mini graphs here um, again I could change the graph type if I want to look at the price of the composite of the vector vest composite over any time frame I can do that I can also look at the buy sell ratio graph, very important indicator in the VectorVest program, advanced declines. Uh, but again, it, it default or VectorVest composite graph itself. How's the composite doing? The default is the MTI graph. For now, I will leave it there. And then on the default setting in the upper right hand corner, we have the training tab where I'm able to click, and that will bring me to the VectorVest University where you can sign in using your account and here is where we have all kinds of resources you can check for your areas of interest group coaching uh, watch versions of the daily color guard report and past special presentations this right here especially if you're new to VectorVest click on navigation series and there's uh, an amazing amount of uh, tutorials and videos here uh, to walk you through all of uh, the powerful tools of the VectorVest program Again, all of this just in the top third of the default page of the VectorVest program without even leaving the home page. So this upper portion tracks the, the overall market analysis and the trend of the markets. Now, right below this area on the home page, I'm able to come down to what's called the top items gadgets. And again, in the defaults, we have the RT sectors, RT industries, and uh, it defaults to the Midas touch for top the top stocks that we're looking at here. We'll start with RT sectors and here all it's doing is using the relative timing indicator on the overall sector so that we can track what what sectors are performing the best. Remember we track 41 sectors. We break our, our database to 41 sectors and 222 different industries and we rank and analyze those based on relative timing uh, in, in a real-time fashion here as you can see. Okay, so you have utility, bank, drugs, you have the, the market. Uh, most of these are, are ETFs or indexes that we track. Okay, right now the, the, the drug sector is performing well, even in the down market. Uh, so I'll use that just as an example. You can go to any of these. The bank uh, sector had a, a good day yesterday, pulling back a little bit. Uh, let, let's use the bank. If I right click, if I right click on any item here, it's going to bring up for me a, uh, a menu that I can use. Uh, and in the sector menu, it allows me to look at either the industries within the sector or I could actually see the stocks within the entire sector. So let's take a look at the stocks that reside in the banking sector. Now, there happens to be a lot of them in the bank sector, 459 stocks. That encompasses all of the industries within the bank sector. I could instead right click and choose to, to work my way down. So I'm taking a top ranked sector. I've just chosen the bank sector uh, for this example. I could then go to view the industries within that sector. So now I have the industries within the banking sector. So you have the, the regional banks, foreign banks, uh, etc. So within these industries are where I can now find the stocks. We can get the RT ranking again out of 200 and 22 industries that we track this is where these uh, industries are ranked overall based on relative timing so what if if I want to take the top ranked industry within the banking industry I can double click or right click to view the stocks and now I'm going to see all of the stocks 
within the top industry within a top rank sector. So it's that ability to to drive deeper to find the stocks that are performing well right now. Right. So it's a great way to get a sense not only on individual stocks but on an overall sector uh, and industry. And then again, you can you can skip right to uh, the the industry itself. So I can right click. Let's view the stocks in the top ranked industry out of 222 in our program. I can go there and find the top stocks with just a click of the button. Okay, these are the top stocks in the top industry currently in the VectorVest program. Uh, turns out they are ETFs, just to be clear, in this particular case, as I can see by the relative value and safety being one. Uh, but that brings me to those uh, to the top industry. It's ETFs and then the ETFs short. The inverse or contra ETFs is, is the next best perform. But some great information you can find right here just by going uh, into that. Also, we have the Midas Touch. So again, the next top item are top stocks. If I click on that configure wrench, I have the choice. It defaults to Midas Touch. I can get top VST stocks, relative safety stocks, etc. Right now, I'll leave it at the Midas Touch. And again, I can I can expand the view of this. I can get the top 10 Midas Touch stocks or 12, whatever comes up here. Right, I have the ability to simply right click. Again, when you right click on a stock, it gives you a full menu of things you can do. You can get stock news, the full analysis report, uh, and all kinds of information. For now, let's just go ahead and we'll, we'll graph the top stock within the Midas Touch. It brings me right to my graph layouts. Make sure you change it to the Midas Touch graph by simply going to layouts. And when we use Midas Touch, we use a three month graph. And there you have it, DQ. Why is it the top Midas touch stock? It's because when we look over at the control panel, we see that the moving average of the stop price is the green line. The red line is the 65 day moving average. And then down below is the 40 day moving average of relative timing. When all of those are at a three month peak, we say that the stock makes it to the, the Midas touch list and DQ happens to be the top ranked Midas touch stock as we speak. So again, some great information with just a couple of clicks of the button. And as I said, I can go to top uh, VST stocks. I love the RS stocks, so I can also go to the top RS stocks as well. And it takes a minute to populate there. That's why you're not seeing it. I can hit refresh. You can refresh it every one minute and refresh now. And that's, we'll get our RS rate, ratings and rankings. Okay, so I'll break that one down as well. So we've talked about the top items. These gadgets are, are have a lot of information built right in. Right click and you can send these to watch lists. You can create portfolios. There's so much you can do. Top trading systems uh, shows you the best performing system. Simply click on the view all and it brings you to our trading system viewer. And there's so many ways you can sort these, sort them by market timing, by the uh, returns that you've seen. And there are just some, some great things here and you can learn more about them here uh, but with one click of the button you can get to the very best performing systems uh, that we see there. We've also have of course the main toolbar which you can click on any of these and it will bring you into the views section right the viewers tab portfolios uh, you know all of the main uh, functionality of VectorVest of course is found on the main toolbars up top. I wanted to click on views really quick. I mentioned earlier to go watch the seven secrets video that Steve did back in December of 19. You can go to strategy of the week. Right? So when I click there, it'll list strategies going way back. The easiest way is to simply scroll down and I've scrolled a little too far. We'll go up to 1227. The seven secrets to making money when you double click there, it'll bring you to that strategy section for that particular evening and go ahead and click here. And that's how you get back to those special presentations. Then a real important one going back to market trends and the overall market analysis. If you don't already, I strongly urge you Monday through Thursday to watch the, the uh, daily color guard report. And then on Friday, we have, along with the special presentation, we have the timing the market session, which delves deeper into the overall market analysis for the week. You have special offers. And then uh, what I've done here, this is not part of the, uh, the homepage, the default homepage. Remember, you can move these anywhere you'd like. So I've created my own quick list, again, just to show you an example. 
I can take this quick list by putting my cursor inside this gray area right next to the title there. I can move it anywhere I'd like. So for now, just as an example, I'll move it here and I can show you if you maybe you own some stocks. Maybe there's some stocks you're looking at. For me, I like to put the, the, the major sectors here based on the, the iShares ETFs. If I make this into a medium size, you can see I can track, again, what, what sectors just at a quick glance. Along with the RT sectors, I can look this way. Again, I, one example, I, I, I have my own personal stocks that I own, stocks that I'm looking for uh, to see how they're moving. I put these up uh, in different gadgets all the time. And the way to do that is to simply go to the home page and hit the configure bar there and you have a menu and I can add any of these gadgets so the one that's added most is the quick list right and here again is where I can add you know if you own stocks simply put them in separate them by a comma okay and it's that quick to create the gadget that I can track again stocks that I own or stocks that I'd like to own right? and I can track their movement right here to to, again, to move it, you simply drag it over that way to eliminate it. If you don't want it on there, simply click the X and it goes away. If I continue to scroll down, again, we'll see our, our in-person events. These are uh, right on the home page. You can register or join any of the events that we have uh, live. Again, as I noted, you can add any gadgets or quick list there. And then finally, down below, I have the dashboard. So when I click those upward-facing arrows, it brings me to... Uh, the dashboard where I have a, the VectorVest composite on an intraday using extended hours. In this case, I have the intraday movement of the VectorVest composite, the advanced decline of the VectorVest composite, right? 5,000 uh, decliners to 2,600 advancers unchanged. And then I have the ability to put current market news so I can track uh, the headlines as they, as they cross. So I can check those with just a click of a button. And so my goal in this presentation was to show you some basic navigation of the home page, but more importantly, how you can use that information by simply seeing an overall market analysis to see what sectors, industries, and stocks are performing best right now, to show you how to put the gadgets in place that allow you to track stocks that you own or want to own, the ability to see what trading system uh, systems are working the best right now, the current headlines that are there, advanced decline, all of that information from market analysis to stock analysis and sectors and industries, all right there on the home page. Again, I urge you to go back and watch the seven secrets, the power of the home page. It, it actually incorporates several other secrets along with it, right? Secret number one is keep it simple. What simpler way than to be able to look right on the home page of VectorVest, right click on any industry or stock and gather that information with just a couple of clicks. Right. Secret four, of course, is exploiting all of that. Secret three I mentioned was heed the color guard. Information is a valuable commodity, but it's useless if you don't apply it, right? if you don't use the information. And then secret number six is stay informed. Use the VectorVest views, the daily color guard report. Read those views each and every day. It's going to be very helpful to you in staying on top of what the market's doing, especially the Friday night views and, and the market timing portions. So hopefully I was able to, to meet my goal, help you better manage your net worth. Hopefully I was able to do that. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to spend with me here, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Yeah.